Hi, it's Jane from Grumpy Old Crafters and I am here to do the 100 subbies giveaway challenge. Wow, <laughs> I just can't believe that, I'm telling you now. It's, um, well I've, I've got 118 now at the minute, I'm just absolutely amazed and over this world and I'm just seeing and I think no you can see my pyjama bottoms uh, I've had a bit of a rough day today I woke up this morning in agony and couldn't <coughs> get out of bed so I had to take my fentanyl and paracetamol and all the other drugs I take and I went back to sleep and got up about half past 12 feeling not too bad it's just taken me a long time to come round and then um, my daughter came round with her new boyfriend so we were introduced to the new fella um, pleasantly surprised yeah he seems all right time will tell he's a bit older than her but uh, age isn't a factor I don't think it's the relationship itself isn't it so um yeah 100 subbies thank you so much um just overwhelmed really that so many people are subscribing to my channel and i've only been doing it about four months five months uh so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart um <laughs> just really grateful that you're following me uh, I have some wonderful subbies who always comment and I love reading the comments because you feel like you're part of a community then don't you uh, yeah I don't really know what else to say because I was a bit like oh I can't believe I've got to 100 because when I got to 20 I was like oh my lord I have 20 subbies <laughs> it's like um, oops, excuse the cigarette I'll just move that out of the way yeah so thank you thank you thank you so we'll i'll just say that what the challenge is about is i thought i would use my genevieve design templates because i am a genevieve designer or I'm on the design team should i say and as such I get to get a free download and play with it and do what I want with it so I have played with it done what I want with it and I thought I would spread that love and use what I've done um, for the giveaways challenge the giveaway challenge so I've used um, a top note principle and a six by nine principle and the secret garden principle they're all uh, different and I hope you like them so without further ado I shall just pause and get them okay I'm back again with the little giveaways and I just thought I'd show you them as their collection and then I'll go through them one by one tell you what they are etc etc so we'll start with the smallest first just put these out of my way if you could see my craft room you'd die we'll just bring that here and lift it up to the camera a bit and this is like um, a mini wallet <coughs> and it's made with um, paper from the secret garden image so it's just for in a handbag or something like that and uh, I think it's quite sweet so it's got this beautiful image on the front that Jen decided uh, and I put these flowers on the front <laughs> and whoops that little material one 
decided it was coming on the book just kept appearing so I thought well it must want to go on so on it went so you open it up and it's got a little pocket at the front with a little tag in a space for a picture if you want a picture um, does it come out that way no <laughs> I've forgotten how it works <laughs> and you open it again to the middle like that I left that blank for a picture another pocket with a lovely ticket in with the images on I love these images I think this is my favorite one the secret garden and a side pocket so you can slip a large photo in there a six by four photo I think it is if you go in there and put a ticket in and a little picture I'll slip those in there and in the top here there's a space if I can get it out what's it not coming out with I've pushed it in too hard I think I've pushed it in too hard oh there you go oh that was hard <laughs> So I've put a little pocket envelope in there. These are all in the designs that you get when you download from Jen. Uh, little pockets, all sorts of interesting bits that you can use for loads of projects. It doesn't have to be just for um, a secret garden mini album. What's it getting stuck on? That. There you go, and then it's just got another little hardy hole. Should have done it on both sides for a little booklet type page, so you could journal in that if you wanted. So I love that. And it's just a velcro fastening i'm not sure if i got this from i think i got this uh closure from a different kit of gens i can't remember which though but she put some closures on so i utilized it because i had a spare one so that's that one i really love that one even though it's small and we'll come to the next smallest seems to have lost its little so this is a gorgeous girl and it's focus great and this is from a six by nine printable envelope album absolutely love that printout because there's just so much you can do with that one as well but not only that you get um to choose a pattern but you also get the plain one so you can print it out onto your own paper which is absolutely fantastic so you can use like I've just used the gorgeous girl range here um, I will be putting a link to Jen's um, I'll just bring that up it's all sparkly I'll be putting a link to Jen's um, channel in the description box and how to get to Jen's shop etc on Etsy um, because if you go to Jen's channel she explains and she goes through step by step what the kit contains that you get in and shows you all the the cutouts etc etc and uh, she can do it better than I can so there's no point in me trying I just get to play so anyway I had this elasticated sequin um, strand so I cut it to size sewed it in the middle and popped a little ribbon over and it makes a nice belly band closure so as we go to open it where's that I'm 
matted on a mixture. I wonder if that's the top knot. No, I think it's the six by six. Mm. Yeah, no, it is the six by six. Sorry about that. Gosh, man farts. You can do without some cutting. That's not focusing. Let me try that. Yep, yeah, see? It's a little envelope. Yeah. And that goes in that. So you could put any ticket stubs, cinema stubs, that sort of thing for memories. If you wanted to, if you're so pleased. Then you open it up. And we've got a pocket tag space there and a pot gorgeous girl there with a big tag. And then I did another tag. I've used a lot of glossy accents in these books because the, I think the paper calls for it and I just put um, like a luggage tag they call them don't they there um, so that you could write on it you can get a picture down the back of that you could put a picture over this just popping a little girl on there and these two are envelopes and I've left them empty so that you can put what you want into them uh, but I just love, I love the gorgeous girl images and I think they were just right for this little mini album. And you just bear in mind I haven't done these a lot at all and um, with some of the stuff I've made a few mistakes like I should have um, kept that on the inside of something and glued it down. Um, I think to have glue spots all over the place. You can't tell really, but there you go. So that turns over another pocket for you to put stuff in. Little photos, keepsakes. I put a side pocket on this one with the little gorgeous girl images and a little tag on there so that you can write on it and have put a little border there with butterflies and um, cogwheels because that was offered if the steampunk one but I really liked it and I thought that looked really cute in there so there you go you mix and match so we've got another little hidey pocket there and I've put a little envelope in it and I think this is a booklet yeah little booklet I think this would be sweet for a little girl, actually. Although I'd have it because, you know, I'm a bit sad like that. That's my favourite image in Gorgeous Girl with the rabbit. More space for photographs. I've put a little tag hole here. So you just slip it down there. And then there's another envelope opening there with another envelope in it. So you can put more pictures in and precious things. I've left a lot of this blank so that you can, you know, do it yourself. Because it's personal, isn't it? And the last envelope has got another envelope in it. And that's the back. That needs a bit of glue on. I'm just going to do that now while I'm thinking about it because <laughs> I will forget. There we are. Great thing about cloud glue, it rubs off <laughs> if it overflows, which it does a lot with me for some reason. But it comes off easy enough. I'm just going to keep my finger on that a bit. 
so I hope you've had a nice weekend. I know you've all been waiting for this because I've been seeing the comments on Facebook, on my Facebook page where I put teasers pictures, teaser pictures and uh, it's made me quite chuckle really. <laughs> I thought, well, I didn't know. I didn't think anybody would be that interested to be honest but there you go. You are and that's fantastic. So the belly band's back on and I just pop this trinket in. Just tie it around a bit. And there you go. And on to the next one. And I know who will be wanting this one. So, you know, I know she'll be entering because I know she'll want this one. <laughs> so, I've done just a tie round ribbon closure on this and put a lovely pendant on it. Because I thought that were quite steampunkish. I don't know if it opens or not. Doesn't look like it does. So, because this is a really chunky book, uh, again, this is made with the 6x9 principle because that was my last challenge. And again, I've mucked up in the middle. But I'm considering restringing it, but I did glue it to the page, so I'm, you know, a bit wary of uh, messing it all up. So here we go. Steam girl. Steampunk girl. I've used glossy accents again uh, just to pop out the image. We open up. Oh, there's a page. And I love these uh, pocket watch images. Now all these images are from a Debbie Moore CD called Steampunk, strangely enough. And I have a lot of Debbie Moore CDs because I absolutely adore them. Um, I make a lot of cards with them because the images are fantastic. And you've seen me use images before that are digi images, but I I am in love with Debbie Moore's CDs. I really am. I just, she just comes up with some beautiful images. There's um, one called The Masquerade as well, which really I should have done with this, but I really wanted to do a steampunk for Katie because I know she likes steampunk and I wanted her to see how I'd done it. Um, but again, I, with these 6 by 9 principles, like I said before, you can choose, I think there's about six or seven choices of pattern that you can choose and you get a blank principle collection as well. So I chose the Harlequin for that because I love it and it just reminds me of mixed media a lot. So, so I digress. So I'll come on and I've put like a corner image on there and I've got a pocket here and I've put some little tags in. Glossy accented them. And this is a little envelope. And I've put a tag in that. I think you can see with these books how I'm getting better at them. <laughs> um, as I go on, I just love that one. I just love that steampunk flower. And on the images, uh, there's some massive steampunk flowers and I love them as well. So again, another steampunk girl with a steampunk border and I've glossy, glossy accented these large brass button things. There's another envelope there. And I've put a little booklet in and I've glossy accented just little bits on there, bits that would be glass and their eyes because uh, I love glossy accents in their eyes. I think it really makes them a bit more 3D rather than flat if you get my meaning. That turns over and we've got another pocket. I left those two pages blank so that anything could be done with them and I'll put two blank um, tags in. 
There you go. And all these tags and envelopes are all in the Genevieve Designs uh, download. Again, so much. I just, I mean, even before I were a design team member, I was buying them because I just couldn't believe how much I could get out of them because they're just so integratable. I think that's the word, or have I just made that? Is that a new word, integratable? I don't know. But I've put a lovely little pocket watch on the envelope cover there. We turn it over, left another blank page for photos. We've got another pocket here and some more of the oops, butterfly with glossy accents. A little envelope that you can pop a tag in with that lovely tester clock on. So go in there, turn it over, turn it over, yeah, another blank space for photographs, another pocket, I think if I did this again I'd print both sides, um, if I was doing it off the design that I got with Jen, uh, which I didn't think about because I don't like this whiting, but there you go. And more spaces and the last pocket with your girly in. And that, that really you could take it if you wanted and pop it there and you could have your tag in the back like that, which I considered doing. But I just thought it was so cute and I thought I'd want to be able to take that out because I could perhaps have a, a photograph of somebody in there who I cared about or wanted other people to see and I could pop that in my handbag because it's sturdy enough and out it could go with me. There you go. So that's another one. So I hope you like that and all you do with this is I just pop that in the centre, wrapped it round that way wrapped it round that way and just tied a little bow on the side. I'll do that now. See I think this will get a bit more bulkier when, once stuff has been put in it and that's why I didn't want to put a closure on it because it's pretty weighty now. And now to the one that I've had the most comments on. <laughs> Now, I suppose it is a Halloween book, but I've, I've, I've tried to do it in such a way that it could be used for other stuff, although there are a few obvious Halloween things in. So, I've forgotten what this paper collection is called, but I will try and find it and put a link to it or the name of it on there. But the images were just so... I was thinking, oh, I, would do, I had all this Fernley um, wooden pieces that I was thinking I'd use on a Halloween book and didn't do it because once I glossy accented this, I just thought that just looks so lovely by itself. And then this little Mr. Man, let's see if I can get a, is it going to focus? There you go. It's a sparkly spider. I think she should be called Diamond. Diamond the spider. And again on the back, I was planning on putting nice lace on and this, that and the other. And I just thought it just looks too nice. And I think, you know, I went with the less is more thing. But this uh, Diamond the spider, um, she came from the pound shop. And this is the necklace that she came on. So I trimmed the necklace down with my jewellery cutters and glued that on with glossy accents and it's, you know, this is glued on with glossy accents and I've messed with it and I've had it open and it's just immovable. And this is the closure. Oops. 
just some jewels, little hearts, little chandelier bit, uh, sparkly glass black bead and a little gemstone. I've done double ribbon with this uh, just because I thought it looked effective and I had to learn how to actually use my um, chomper thing. Ooh, what's it called? Do you know, the word's flown out of my mind, but you know what I mean. It puts your grommets in and I had to learn how to use it properly to do this because I didn't want to wreck it. So I were on YouTube for about an hour trying to find out how to learn it properly, <laughs> to use it properly. Anyway, I figured it out for myself in the end. Um, so it's all neat and tidy on the inside as well, no raised edges. So this is the first page and I've put little diamantes on the mirror and again the paper was so nice I didn't really want to do too much to it. So this is a bottom loading pocket. This is from the top note printable from Genevieve Designs and I did it on um, oh, quite a thick cardstock I think it were about 220 gram cardstock so that you know it's pretty sturdy and I used the hidden hinge binding because I had bought her stack the deck um, principle because I haven't got that to play with yet but I bought the stack the deck principle because I couldn't wait so I've used her stack the deck um, template for this book very handy so there you go I think I've told you all you need to know about that again to you know Genevieve's does the whole shebang showing you everything in it and all the patterns that you can get with it because that's another one that you can choose um, a pattern with um, and get the blank principle as well so I did this lovely little card ticket or whatever you want to call it it's not focusing in yet there you go I just love that. Uh, those were a set of tags that came with the picture. So I put those in. Most of the other stuff is from the download from the um, Top Note Printable. So we've got little envelopes again. I love the bats. And I glossy accented them and put little diamonds in. And you can put little ticket stubs or whatever in that one. I seem to have forgotten to glue that bottom so I'll just <laughs> oh lordy lordy no there's no glue come out I'll do that after when I've finished I, I just seem to have forgotten to glue a bottom down there must have been distracted uh, again beautiful papers I love this idea in the top note because you have a pocket to go down and it's all fancy smancher you could put lace around there and everything I have a lot of ideas for the top note principle uh, and I made a little booklet to go into that because this is so sturdy I could put a bit more in and I've glossy accented some of the design on the back as well but again these papers are so beautiful and the purple Jen so you know purple I wonder who likes purple aren't they so pretty these pieces of paper I just I couldn't bear to over decorate them uh, I've just used a bit of um, zig pen on that uh, the uh, sparkle zig brush thing and I put 
a couple of little tags in that's a little pocket and I put a little face man on there if you'll no that's not doing it is it it's not having it it's not zooming in on that but this I got off um, when we went to America last year I brought some crafting stuff back and I got a lot of jolly um, Halloween things and uh, I've used a few of them in here because they're so cute I'll just pop them like that so they look nice this is one of them oh you know I just look at the detail in them I just love those stickers but you you just can't get them for love and money over here not like they do in America they do the Disney ones but they don't do the Halloween ones and this I just loved this paper and I had to use a lot of glossy accents and the zig um, clear you know glimmer pen or whatever it's called and I just love that it took me ages to do that and I did it so that it followed down that's what I love about these cutouts as well um because you can carry your paper on and it you know I like that because I get a bit upset when I have to cut my paper up and you know what us crafters are like you buy one to look at and one to use well I didn't know that when I first started crafting so I've got a lot of paper that I don't want to use um again the zig pen I'm just gonna see if I can find my other one to see if I can remember what it's called No, I think they're both upstairs. I've been crafting upstairs lately because um, I needed a bit more room. And another tag. I love this paper as well. Absolutely. It's just, you know, ripe for glossy accenting. Little booklet there. And I like how when you push them together, when you're closing, you get like this effect going on. Some more raven paper. Oh, I just could eat it. Love it. A uh, little notelet with um, a voodoo man on. And this, this might be one of my favourites in the pack. I didn't have to do anything to it. It was already pre-glittered. And the spider webs. I think on this side I did, uh, no, on the, these cards, I added some um, zig pen to that. What's that? There? It's gone. So... As you can see, I made the web sparkle a bit on that. It just opens out. don't think I need to zoom in that, do I? I think it's pretty clear from there. And I, I, again, because I wanted most of the paper to show, I just put a little belly band on there. So that goes in like that. Oh, and I put a little spider on the web. Uh, the chandelier paper again this is a another design in the envelope thing and oh look at the skulls I love it I did a different design on that a little booklet so I just love how everything you, you slot it in here match it up and you've just got that design going all the way through I'll just hold it up so you can see what I mean you know, like the scalloped edge thing going on and I added some sparkle to that page as there was nothing else going on sorry wrong way around oh. wink of Stella that's it wink of Stella it's come back to me blooming fibro fog I hate it it does me head in um, so on this one I put a nice little coffin 
and it's got a little key on um, that says admit one <laughs> I love that and I did another little envelope holder there and glossy accented the chess pieces again I was, this paper range is I'm gonna have to try and get hold of it again because I just love it and I just had to add some eyes to the skulls <laughs> it was necessary you know and a couple of I glossy accented over that because it looked like it would be a cabochon then and then put a couple of diamantes on the bottom that opens up and I've got tags in there like so oh, three, three tags and I put um, Wink Costella in the eyes on the skellies there just put a little band across there and put some diamantes on the batty paper again which I adore I just love all this paper why did I say I'd let it be a giveaway because I want it <laughs> and I love that see don't she do great oops excuse me great embellishments wasted on me really and I've put another little glued another little pocket on here lifts up and another little batty tag and then we go on to the back well we're not go on to the back like that and I put a couple of bookmarks in I thought that was a different I thought I'll make them into bookmarks because they were just scraps and I thought it's a shame not to add them in so that is the pocket that I showed you on the last one that I wanted to give you to just take out if you wanted to but I thought this looked good on the back with this paper for a bit of interest on top of that one and I, lo I love these mirrors they're just it's elegant isn't it really so that's that one and all you do is tie a bow and again I put plenty of ribbon on for in case it gets a bit thicker which I guess if you, you if you actually use it it will I hope whoever gets it uses it because I love it I don't want to give it away <laughs> I'll have to make another one now but yeah it's uh, my pride and joy because like I said I'm not a mini album maker but I wanted to do these for the giveaway so there you go so what do you have to do to be in the giveaway well I'll write it down as we're going number one be a subscriber and I will check whether you are or not and whether you've just what I don't want is someone to just subscribe just so that they're in for a chance of winning I'd rather it go to those people who have been with my followers since you know the beginning or I've been subscribing because they like my work not because they want a free giveaway so I'll be keeping a lookout for that number two thumbs up <laughs> oh that looks a bit rude that doesn't it I'm just gonna cross that out <laughs> Let you do knuckles like that don't you and a thumb yeah I don't know what I would draw in there <laughs> oh, thumbs up it still looks bad so I'm gonna cross that out again <laughs> oh my goodness sorry about that ladies I was <laughs> that's made me cry uh, so be a subscriber give me a thumbs up 
Number three, comment. Please, please comment when you come and visit me. Um, because it just makes me happy. I like to see what people think. You may, even if you just want to say, I've had a shit day, Jane. Uh, I'll reply back to you. It's, you know, I want to feel like I've got a bit of a connection with you all. And, uh, you know, because I really do appreciate you taking your time out of your day to come and watch my channel. Um, and I hope, I, you know, I hope I keep giving good tubes. Look at me doodling while I'm doing this. I'm a doodler. Uh, right, so for these three, you will get one, not one vote, one entry. One entry when you do all these three. Okay. Oh, sorry, all four. I'd like you to share. Um, if you're sharing, will you just put that on your comment and tell me where you're sharing it to? I've got Twitter and I've got Instagram and what's that other one? Can't remember it, but Facebook, come on, and there's another one I'm on that I really like, and I can't remember what it is. See, I've got proper fire. I'm in that much pain today. My head is firmly stuck up my orifice at the bottom that I haven't got. So there you are. And for an extra two votes, for an extra, what I would like is a Christmas card. And I want it to be blank inside. With an envelope. So I'm going to let this run for three weeks. I'm writing this down here so I can remember what I've said you have to do. <laughs> Now what I'm saying this for is because I support uh, the Burnley Cat Rescue team and they've had a really hard year this year. Um, you know, they always get an influx of kittens and everything. You know what it's like out there. People don't uh, neuter their animals and then you get animals that are unwanted and it, it's unfair but that is life. And then you have these wonderful people out there who really devote their life to looking after these little pussy cats and um, I mean they have them in their own homes and everything and uh, yeah I don't know what I'm drawing here a big bushy tail uh, <laughs> So I'd like to be able to give them some nice cards for sale at Christmas when they do the Christmas um, tabletop sale. I um, hope you think that's a good idea because I thought I've put so much effort and you know I've, I will have to do the postage on those. It is open to international. I know that's going to cost me an arm and a leg if someone from abroad wins it but you know, you're worth it. You're my little ladies and gents who follow me. Uh, what I will say about the Christmas card is um, I don't want a card that's just had a bit of something stuck on it. I want some creativity in there. I want it to be nice and saleable. Uh, so, yeah. So, you can have one entry for these four and two entries for the Christmas card and I'll put all the details in the box below and you know the and uh, I think that's it another you know last of all another big thank you for subscribing to me it's amazing I love it um, I like I've got certain people who I've, I'm getting to know and I chat to um, 
please be one of them. Please comment to me, chat to me. I'd love it. I'm on Facebook. Um, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, all under Grumpy Old Crafter. Um, yeah, I'd love it if uh, we got a little thing together. And uh, love you and leave you. Thank you very much. Bye for now.